evil man can yu'min billahi wal yawm al-akhir fa la yaqul khayran aw liyasmut if you believe in allah in the last day speak well or be silent speak good say good things or be silent right this is what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told he told us to use the gift of tongues not to backbite not to speak ill of people and if and if you're warning about people you speak in generalities you don't speak specifically about individuals the prophet used to say ma baru aqwam what's wrong with people that do this and that right now obviously if they're completely deviant then that's a different matter um, so that's and that's hikmah to know the difference so when you look at the gift of of language what is underlying this gift is the ability of understanding understanding which is that we we have fiqh and he'll go into these terms right we can, we can gain knowledge so we have understanding Allah has given the human being the ability to understand with the intellect but the intellect by its nature has problems one of the major problems of the intellect is that it's a triune intellect right you have three brains in your head you have this ar stem you have a midbrain and then you have this frontal lobe In our tradition, and this is confirmed by even though they knew this a long time ago, the R stem is the amara. It's it's a reptilian brain, right? And most of the people in power are functioning like reptiles. That's why there's a whole all these crazy theories about them being reptiles in reality and remove their masks and they're really lizard people and things like this. That is because they behave like reptiles. Now, I spent my summers on a cattle ranch when I was young. So I spent a lot of time with lizards. There were lizards all over the place. I used to watch them. They're very interesting creatures. They are say ahyaru min dab, more confused than a lizard. And and I understand what that means. Some somebody can hear that, but if they don't know lizards, they won't know what that. Because a lizard when it comes out of its hole, it's like it's, it looks so confused, you know. But one of the things lizards are always petrified. They're just in a state of fear. they're always afraid and so the reptilian brain at the root of it is fear it's fear but it has another quality fear and desire and so these this is the shahwa right the quwwa shahwaniya This is the concupiscible soul. It's the soul that desires uh food, desires sex, desires security, all these things. That's the nature of that soul. So it functions at that level and that's why it's very primitive. And propagandists, advertising agencies, they understand this very well. And that's why they control the masses through social engineering. by keeping them in this brain this is where they keep the majority of human beings they're in this brain and it's a very low brain but it's there's a reason why it's there it's it's not a negative thing in and of itself it's negative when it overrides the other brains imam al ghazali called this the pig called this the pig soul that its nature is like a pig it just eats and eats it'll eat its own young that's what a pig does khanzir will eat its own offspring and so in in that way if it's left to its own devices it becomes destructive the midbrain is the center of the emotions and this is in our tradition called the quwwa الغضبيه the irascible soul one of the things that since we're in uh, Mawlana Rumi's city 
One of the things that Arumi said is the reason God prohibited alcohol. I mean, this is his hikmah. You can't really say other than, I mean, Allah said that it's harmful. And, but it says that it, shaitan wants to sow hatred amongst you. And so what Mawlana Rumi understood from that, he said the reason that a lot of prohibited alcohol is because most people, if you remove the veneer on their intellects of rationalism, they become angry. And that's why drunks often become very belligerent. And so he said it's really veiling people from this aspect of themselves. Because if you haven't controlled yourself, you haven't learned to control yourself, you have this anger in you. And that's why the Prophet, when the man said, Awsini Ya Rasulullah, he said, La taghdab. Don't get angry. Awsini, La taghdab. Three times. Don't get angry. Because this quwa is very powerful. 